In 1984, the decision was made to build a new entrance for the Louvre. It would be in the shape of a glass pyramid sunk deep into the great courtyard out front. But before the builders could start the pyramid, they needed to find out what might lay beneath it. The medieval Louvre was built in a darker time. It was once a defensive fortress. We are in the central moat of the castle. In the middle of the moat, there was a great tower, the dungeon of the Louvre. It was conceived as the ultimate part of the fortress to be taken if there was uh, an attack. Along the old castle walls, the excavators discovered an ancient well, long disused and filled with rubbish. Among the rubbish, they found strange fragments that seemed to be pieces of a golden helmet. When it was found, the helmet was not like this, but it was you know, whole torn and smashed in little pieces, uh, 155 pieces. The helmet was voluntarily destroyed before it was put uh, in the well. And so we wonder, of course, of how such a marvelous object was destroyed. On the helmet were markings that told part of its story. The fleur-de-lis, the emblem of French royalty, told them the crown had belonged to a king. Letters around the crown spelled out the motto, En Bien. This was the motto of Charles VI, the 14th century king who would be remembered as Charles the Mad. In fact, he was not mad all the time. He had crises, and the first important crisis uh, occurred during a, a war campaign. He was with his army and he had to cross through a forest near the city of Le Mans. And before entering the forest, he met a beggar, told him, don't go further because you are betrayed. In the forest behind the king, a soldier let his spear fall with a crash. Hearing the sound, King Charles thought his men were about to attack him. The king drew his sword and started to slash at his own soldiers in a frenzy. They had no way to defend themselves against their king. He killed four of them before they managed to calm him down. The crisis passed, but over the years his madness grew. He began to forget his own identity and eventually came to believe that he was made of glass and that if anybody touched him, he would shatter. We know that during his crisis of madness, he destroyed objects around him and especially uh, objects uh, which were linked with his personality. So we can imagine maybe that he, the, the helmet was destroyed by the king himself and one of his crises of madness. So this is a wonderful work of art, but this is also a testimony of a troubled period of our history.